Acoustica has a very high standard in regards of sampled audio gear and these plugins are no exception. First thing I noticed is that the GUIs are a bit small on a 4K screen and there's no option to resize. On smaller resolutions, the plugins are big enough. Acoustica is aware of this and is working on it. The graphical interfaces look excellent though and really fit the old school and boutique vibe of the plugins. What you see is what you need, no extra menus or hidden functions. Let's go over the individual plugins. The preamp has the choice between 24 mic and 24 line inputs which were sampled from a vintage console of a prestigious brand built in Santa Clarita, California in the 80s. Each channel is a different sampled channel, slightly different from the other. The custom settings add another 12 preamps which vary a lot. There are mono valve preamps, preamps from vintage consoles, preamps from EQ models and more. With the input you can push all preamps to increase saturation. Let's go over these preamps and bypass on occasion so you can hear how these preamps sound. Since preamps are a more subtle thing usually. I will push it a bit. This also compensates for the YouTube compression. All of these preamps will add a slightly larger than life sound to the original recording and also, because they are pushed a bit now, will give a more even sound to the acoustic guitar. Now when I use the preamps on this drum loop, you'll notice how the low end increases and the sound gets thicker when I push the preamps with the mic and line preamps. And especially with the custom switch, the preamps there will get dirty and some even blow out. When I dial the input for preamps 11 and 12 down, it will get a very nice dirt.
the brown compressor is basically three vintage 40s and 50s tube compressor models, each with their own charm. It comes with three preamps models as well, so that can help when you just want to use this compressor. Each of the compressors has its own specific attack and release settings. You really need to play around with them to get a feeling what works best for you and use your ears, which is always a good thing. There's a sidechain high pass, SH mod to fine tune the attack behavior, a safe operating area dial to fine tune the sweet spot of the compressor, and the always useful dry wet mix control. The three compressors each have their own threshold settings. So if you go from one to the other, the sound can be radically different and you need to set the threshold again for each of these three compressors. It would be nice to keep a threshold setting so you can easily switch between the three compressors for comparison, but unfortunately this won't work. Fortunately each of these compressors will reward you with an excellent sound and it's really a lot of fun to dial in the attack, release ratio and threshold to get the sound you want. The sound of the compressors can be best described as gooey. It really smoothens the sound and makes it rounder. It's great on individual tracks and the mix bus. Here are four examples. I really liked off compressor 1 how it can grab the drums. It has the fastest attack and release times. This is without and this is with. You can argue that the original drums have more dynamics of course. So let's bring back in a bit of the original signal with the mix control and also compensate the output. It sounds really sweet. Compressor 3 can do its compression also in a nice way to make for instance this acoustic guitar more constant without adding obvious compression. Slow attack, faster release and a ratio of 2. This is without. This is with. On this bass, Compressor 2 with his fixed attack and release times adds a nice growl and presence. It also reduced the low end a bit, even though I have set the side chain high pass. This is without. And this is with. Now the Acoustica Brown compressor can also be used on the master bus thanks to the dry wet mix control. For that I will choose compressor 3 since it has the slowest attack times. I will use the side chain high pass. Let the mix pump a bit. and dial in some of the dry signal. This is without. And this is with.
this will nicely add parallel compression and overall I have more energy in the mix now. If you really like this type of in-depth plugin reviews, please subscribe and hit that notification bell, it really helps the channel a lot. Ok, let's continue with the plugins. The third module is the Brown EQ. This EQ offers 3 EQ models which you can select here. EQ model 444 is a highly transparent 4 band semi parametric EQ. EQ model 312 is a rare 3 band inductor based EQ, all discrete op amp design from the 70s. EQ model 511 is a 2 band discrete transistor and active inductor based EQ with a smooth, punchy sound. The EQ includes the same preamps of the Brown Pre, so if you plan to use the preamps and this EQ, you just need the Brown EQ, which is nice. It also throws in a high and low pass. The switching of the EQs is pretty slow. It takes some time before a new EQ model is loaded in. The high and low shelf have all three EQ models, both mid-range bands don't have the 511 model. The same applies here as with the compressor. If you have set for instance the high frequencies to a certain frequency, changing the EQ model will not adapt and you'll end up on a different frequency, so you need to adjust after you select an EQ model. All of these EQ bands have their own fixed frequency points and the plugin will snap to a fixed frequency even if you have a setting in between. This means you have to switch between the EQ model to find the best frequency point and of course character. Now sound says more than words so I will go over the individual frequency bands and EQ models with the plugin on the master bus of the next track. You will hear the characters of each of the modules pretty well, let me know in the comments below which ones you like best.
you could hear it really takes some time to load in all settings, so no fast switching and checking here. The funny part is that because it takes some time, you also listen to the selection you did better. At least that is my experience. Any one of these EQ models is very musical and smooth, and the characters are different between them, with the 511 being the most punchy. Now if you want everything at the same time with the same graphical interface, you need to use the brown channel strip. Here it all comes together. The order is fixed, preamp into EQ into compressor. All functions of the other three plugins are available here in the same way I showed before. These four plugins also come with zero latency versions. Well, they are called zero latency, but still have a bit of latency as you can see here in Cubase. If you for whatever reason decide to use them all on one track, you will have 12 milliseconds of latency, which is noticeable. Biggest latency on the zero latency is with the channel strip and compressor. Each have 4.5 milliseconds and the other two have 1.5 milliseconds each. Now this isn't zero latency but still a lot less than when using the normal versions which will have a whopping 231 milliseconds of latency if you use them all. Most DAWs will compensate for that latency during mixing so no problem there but you see why there are zero latency versions included. The CPU load was about the same as with the zero latency version for me. The plugins have a bit of CPU load and the compressors add actually a lot. For instance with the compressor plugin itself it already has a fair bit of CPU usage and the compressor 3 is very heavy as you can see. I could max out my CPU load on maximum latency by using only 6 instances with compressor number 3. So if you use this setting better bounce and commit if you plan to use a lot of plugins. This plugin suite really demands to dive in and find the sounds and settings you like. You could already hear it sounds really good with the few examples I used. I'm impressed with the plugins, it really gives that analog feel and sound. The sound of these plugins also make that I don't really mind the quirks and remarks I have, the quality is just so good. It really helps to dive in the fun old school looking manual of this plugin to really understand what each module does. There are 4 plugins in this suite, but if you look at the actual number of the modules which are sampled, you get a few dozen vintage modules within this bundle. The video displayed on screen will show you some more very sweet analog sounding plugins, check it out. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. I'm Marlon and I will see you in the next video.